Bonjour à tous, c'est Johara Gemma, entraînez-nous de Chine. Maintenant, comprendrez le Chine. Hello everyone, this is Johara Gemma. Today on Understanding Dogs, I will be talking about dehydration in dogs. So I'm going to talk about first what to look out for when they're dehydrating and what you can do about it to fix that, all right? So yes, dogs do dehydrate also just like people do. All right, and the reason why I wanna go ahead and talk about this is because it is really, really hot here in Florida. And I know that in many countries, it is really hot as well. So right here in, in Florida is 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So I know this is the way the temperature is measured in, in America. So I know in the rest of the world, it's Celsius. So it would be 42 degrees Celsius. So that's how hot it is. So, and on top of that, it's very humid. So it's just like when you get out of the shower, all the steam that you feel, well, that's how you feel in Florida, hot and humid. So twice as dangerous, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to talk about dehydration in dogs. So what you need to watch out for is, first thing you'll see is your dog is, you see the mouth that it's grayish and purple. From gray to purplish color. So the reason for that is because the lack of oxygen, all right? So it's gonna be purple. So another thing you're gonna see, a lot of salivating, all right? A lot of salivating. Another thing you're gonna, you're gonna see is that your dog is going to be vomiting, having diarrhea, is getting nostalgic, not being able to stand up, so those are things to watch out for. Your dog will get seizures, will go in a coma and die. All right, so that's what's gonna happen. So that's why dehydration is really important to prevent it. So when you see any of these signs, of course, before he is in a coma, you wanna go ahead and prevent this from happening. All right, so I'm gonna tell you now what you can do so it doesn't go to that extreme, all right? Where he has seizures and goes in a coma, all right? So what, uh, what you can do to prevent this is, number one, of course, don't put him in a situation, of course, when he's out there in the, in the heat. But sometimes things happen maybe in the house sometimes uh the electricity just went off for some reason and it gets really hot or if you live in a in an rv that can also happen things like that happen so let's uh let's talk about the scenario where your dog for whatever reason it's beyond your control and he starts feeling dehydrated, all right, because of the heat. So first off, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove him from that situation, from that place, wherever it, he's at that is causing him to be dehydrated, all right? That's the first thing you're gonna do. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get him wet. Yes, you heard me right, you're gonna pour water on him. It's not gonna be cold water or water with ice. You don't wanna do that because his body is already hot. So if you throw ice or cold water, it's gonna have a bad reaction. So you don't want that. So you wanna do normal, normal water temperature, normal temperature water. You know what I mean. All right, not ice, not cold. All right, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna throw water at him. Another thing you're gonna do, you're gonna put him in front of the fan. All right, so he starts cooling off. 
All right, so when you see that he starts cooling off with the fan and he's wet, let him dry off. Don't dry him off. Let him dry off by himself. You know, air dry. You know, just like you would do for your hair. You know, don't use a blow dryer. Just let it air dry. All right, same thing. So you're going to do that with your dog. Just let him air dry in front of the fan. All right, so then another thing you're going to do, you're going to give him water. Normal temperature water not ice water not cold water again for the same thing because his body is really hot so you don't want to go ahead and put ice or cold water because it's not gonna have a good reaction because the body is really hot all right so i hope my information has been helpful to you all avant toi et suis moi facebook instagram YouTube and TikTok. Subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Peace, paz, au revoir.